And yeah, so sarang. So this is, uh, yes, this is somehow uh, interesting. No, palida, because meron siyang meaning not to fall. Okay, to fall over, mumalaglag. So that's why ginamit to with the word sarang. Sarang is love, and sarang e pajida is to fall in love. Okay, sarang e pajoso. Okay, I fell in love with her. Okay, sarang e pajida. Hi guys, so welcome back to Handled Formula. This is Angelo. And today guys, tapusin na natin yung set 1 ng mock test natin. And yeah, so question 19 and 20 nung reading nung mock test set 1. Okay? And yeah, so this one is, is uh, medyo madali lang naman to. And yeah, kung alam natin yung mga vocab of course. But still, uh, with this uh, question, so katulad nun number 19, Taong tanwa kwange nun ka sunbushin ni ka. So, kwange is relation. And Itta is to have. So, to have a relation is kwangi itta is to be related. So, tatin, uh, hanapin natin yung uh, word na related dito sa mga word na nasa box. No? Ay, yung mga nasa box na yan is uh, mga nouns. Okay? Iba't ibang klase ng nouns. And to answer this one, siguro kahit isa or dalawa, pwede mong masagutan ng tama itong uh, uh, question na to. Basta alam mo yung always or hindi naman always, yung kadalasan kinagamit along with these nouns. So that is the clue. Okay? So kung makikita nyo, this is a noun and hahanapin natin kung saan siya related na with another nouns. But uh, merong ibang questions about kwange in nun gason na bibigyan ka rin ng nouns. Then ang choices mo is about verbs. Kung ano yung, uh, ano yung kadalasang verbs na ginagamit with this noun. So, katulad nito, guys. So, this one, guys, is uh, yeah, so galing to sa isang comment dun sa isang video natin. And, uh, dinagdigan ko to ng dalawa. This was sarang and tuba. Okay? And this nouns, guys, isang verb lang dyan sa mga choices ang kadalasang ginagamit or hindi naman kadalasan. Uh, siguro, Yeah, so ginagamit. So, yun yung pinaka-common nila. Ano yung verb na common na ginagamit along with these nouns? And given with these nouns, ibig sabihin, yung isang verb na yun is maraming meaning. Okay. But, uh, dito muna tayo sa number 19. Okay? So, taong tano wa, kwan giin ng gosun, buusin ni ka. So, taong tano. Tano is uh, words, no? Word or mga vocabularies. Ta or, no, always is vocabularies. Okay? So, tano is just a word. Okay? Tano. Tano. Tanwa with the a word kwange innun related to, to have a relation to be related kwange innun kosun okay bushin na so what so yeah so ganyan sinabi ko to answer this dapat kahit pa paano isa dalawa may alam tayo dyan okay and yeah so number one guys this one yung nasa unahan ng ano natin box this is gym okay so gym what is gym guys gym is mga Ah, uh, yeah, mga dala-dalahan natin. It can be mga uh, bugs, mga ano ba to? Mga laptops or anything na dala-dalahan natin. Okay, gym. Okay? And next, sukso. Sukso. Ah, what? No. Uh, with gym, guys, kunyari gym lang alam natin, luggage. So, can you uh, guess ko ano na yung pinakasagot dito? So, yeah, so we can uh, now guess or we can tell now the answer just by knowing yung number one natin dito sa box chim so chim is luggage so when we are talking about luggage uh is it about yuri yuri is cooking okay yuri hada is to cook yuri is cooking so yeah so this is not the answer no yuri number two it's yoheng so yoheng ito lang yung words dyan na related dito sa number ah, sa, sa first word pa lang tayo ng box no nung nasa box no so yoheng yan trip or travel so that na yan lang yung related dito sa gym but about undong so hindi naman tayo magdadala na napakaraming gym but, but maybe pwede but still when we are talk when we talk about yoheng yeah lagi tayong nasa isip natin is about mga maleta mga bags na pasok dito sa word natin sa una sa gym and Yeah, undong is just exercise, no? And number four, jutong, it's transportation, okay? And when we say transportation, ano yung words na papasok sa isip natin? It's about taxi, bus, or 
mga subway or any form of uh, transportation kyutong so so that's why yung answer sa number 19 is yoheng but tingnan natin yung number yung second na word dito sa box sukso what is sukso sukso is yung lugar na pagistayan mo pag nag-travel ka or pag nag-trip uh, ka kung saan mo gusto pumunta sukso is yung accommodation mo okay diyan tayo magstay matutulog then gagala and then babalik kung depende kung ang um, travel natin sa isang lugar is 2 to 3 days ganun uh, 3 nights 2 days ganyan so yeah sukso is about accommodation okay so pasok pa din siya sa yo hang okay and uh, next is yung kinyom pum so what is this guys kinyom pum okay. kinyom is about mga uh, ano to, mga memories or mga remembrance or pum is product so this is mga souvenir yeah. so pag pumunta, pumunta tayo sa isang lugar mayroong kadalasan na souvenir shop dyan so that's why yoheng is still related or yung kinyom pum is also related dito sa yoheng okay and yung uh, sumulod is kicha pyo ito it can be here related sa kyutong kasi kicha is train and pyo is ticket so train ticket but still related pa rin to sa yoheng trip dyan tayo sasakay kung ang pupuntahan natin ay by train by bus by airplane okay so yoheng is the only answer for these words okay so balikan mo natin to yung kanina guys this is uh, similar kasi kwan gi inunggo so Okay, so your answer dito is Yoheng. And this one, guys, so given these nouns, ano nga yung kadalasang gagamitin natin verb dyan? Is it Pajida? Oops, mobra. Is it Pajida? Fuchida? Haruda? Or Palda? Okay, Palda? So, yeah. So, tingnan natin. Yung first word is E. So, what is E, guys? So, E is not E as in this, this something. E is your uh, teeth, no? Yung ngipin natin, E, and, yeah, so, ano dyan sa mga verb na yan, yung pwede mong gamitin with E. Okay? So, meron na kayong clue. And, next, guys, suop. Suop is yung uh, class. Okay? Al, ma, yeah, class. It's about uh, studying. Okay? Klase. Suop. Okay? So, yeah, so with suop, meron ba kayong word na pwede i-relate dyan sa nasa choice set? Okay? And then, sal. Sal is, this is not rice. Okay? This is sal, not sal. Sal is yung, <coughs> excuse, yung uh, flesh natin. Okay? Or laman. Flesh. Okay? So, uh, yeah. So, pwede na bang sagutan? Knowing this three? Okay? So, pwede pwede na. Okay? Kung alam natin kung ano yung mga nasa choices. And number, yung sumunod is kudongi. What is kudungi, guys? Kudungi is yung uh, hole or a pit, no? Butas. Okay, ano ba to? But pit is... Ano ba to sa Tagalog? So, yeah. Pit, hindi ko lang sa Tagalog. But this is butas. So something na pwede kang mahulog. Okay? So, yeah. Hole or pit, kudungi. And sarang. Sarang is... Ito, alam na alam niyo to Alam ko, guys. Sarang. Okay, sarang. So, uh, happy Valentine's bukas, guys. Today is, uh, nung nire-record ko to, is February 13. So, bukas is uh, Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's, guys. Uh, yeah. And next is tubak. So, what is tubak, guys? Tubak is gambling. Okay, so, gambling. So, anong words are related sa gambling dyan? Okay? So, tingnan muna natin yung pabalik. Okay? So, number four, it's palda. What's, what is palda, guys? Palda is to wash. Okay, parayo. 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 Ibig sabihin niyan is to wash your uh, clothes. Okay, parayo. So, uh, related ba yung to wash dito sa mga uh, uugasan mo yung ngipin mo? <laughs> uh, uugasan mo yung klase? Sal? Okay. So, number four, palda is not related. Okay, and number three, paruda. Paruda. So, paruda, guys, is uh, to apply. Okay, paruda na to apply sa isang company or trabaho. Uh, to apply as in, kunyari may paso ka or sugat ka, magpapahid ka ng mga ointment. Okay? Uh, ano nga ba yung ointment in Korean? Nakalimutan ko na. Anyway, paruda is to apply. Okay? To apply. To apply something on, uh, onto your wounds. Ano pa? Makeup? 
siya. So, Paradise to Apply. So, uh, yeah. So, hindi siya related dito sa mga announce uh, natin. And number two, Puchida. So, what is Puchida? So, remember guys, yung pronunciation ng dito yung T at sa baba and combination with E, it's Chi. Okay? So, this one is Puchida. Okay? Puchida is to stick. No? Idikit mo. Okay? Parang sticker. Pucho. Idikit mo. Pucho. So, Iko pucho ba? Okay? Pucho. Okay? So, this one is also not related. So, ibig sabihin, yung answer natin is number one. Pajida. So, bakit? So, gaya yung sinabi ko, given these nouns, this pajida can have so many meanings. Okay? So, meron pang iba dyan na hindi kasama, guys, na uh, pwedeng, uh, na, hindi ko alam. And, yeah, ito yung mga words na alam kong ginagamit with pajida. Okay? Yung dalawa dyan na sarang and tubak, eh, dinagdag ko lang. Yung original question is, i, suop, sal, and kudungi. Okay? Anyway, i is your teeth. No? And pag sinabing i, Pajida or Iga Pajida, dadagdagan lang natin ng uh, marker, ng subject marker. Iga Pajida is for your teeth to come out. Okay? Kumbaga, malalaglag, malalaglag yung ngipin mo. Iga Pajo sa'yo. Okay? So, malalag na. And then, uh, ikagat mo pa sa matigas na candy. Nalaglag. So, Iga Pajo so Nalaglag yung ngipin mo. Your tooth uh, comes out. No? And next... So, y- yun yung first meaning ng pajida. Okay? Parang malaglag. Parang same with torojida. Malaglag. Okay? And, uh, suop, guys. Suop is, uh, ano to? A class. And then, pajida. Suobe, pajida. Ibig sabihin, guys, is to miss. Okay? Kumbaga, na-miss mo yung klase mo. And, there are other, uh, words are similar to this which which is yung uh, nuchida okay nuchoso and this one is pajoso okay so in past tense kasi na miss mo na eh so suobe pajoso i miss my class okay and next guys is sal and with sal guys we will use the um uh, subject marker pa din sari pajida is ibig sabihin naman ito is to lose weight okay so remember sal is your flesh okay when you lose your flesh <laughs> not literally though so uh sari pajida is to lose your weight and sari chida ibig sabihin naman nun, is to gain weight sari choso okay i gain lots of weight my sari, sari mani choso and this one sari pajoso is yeah ito yung gusto ng mga babae dito sa korea to uh lose weight okay para maging slim or sexy sari pajoso okay And next is kudungi. So kudungi guys is parang uh, ano to? Parang sounds like yung sta- isda na kudungi. <laughs> but anyway, hindi ko alam yung spelling isda na yun. But uh, sounds like kudungi din. So kudungi is yung pit or butas or hukay. Tama ba hukay? Yeah. Kudungi. So kudungi eh pajoso is to fall into the uh, pit. Malaglag ka dun sa butas. Kunyari, Uh, umuulan, and then may butas, kunyari, sa Pilipinas ba? Okay? So, pag nalaglag ka doon, so that is kudungi e, eh, gagamitin natin yung marker na e, eh, pajo, so, malaglag. Okay? So, that is kudungi. Uh, and, yeah, so, sarang, so, this is, ah, uh, yes, this is somehow uh, interesting, no? Pajida, because meron siyang meaning not to fall. Okay? To fall over, malaglag. So, that's why ginamit to with the word sarang. Sarang is love. And sarang e pajida is to fall in love. Okay? Sarang e pajoso. Okay? I fell in love with her. Okay? Sarang e pajida. So, another meaning ng pajida. And last, guys, is yung tubak. Okay? Tubak, guys, is yung gambling. So, pag sinabing tubag e pajoso, it's to become addicted. Addicted. sa gambling. So, yeah. So, ginagamit din natin yung pajida with uh, uh, to be addicted to pwede rin uh, came eh, pa, uh, pajoso. I don't know kung pwede na. So, parang to be addicted sa gaming. So, kung hindi man. So, parang pwede naman. So, anyway, tubage is uh, tubage pajoso is to be addicted in uh, uh, gambling. Okay? So, answer here is yung pajida. Okay? And yung last question natin guys, number 20. So, taong tanwe, pisa tamarun, musim nika. So, ito guys, 
Ah, uh, yeah, so dapat dito guys, meron lang tayong alam na mga synonyms. Kasi pisitan is something that is similar to be similar. Okay? So here, walgubul tada. So walgub guys, ito isa sa mga pinaka-importanteng word sa uh, buhay natin o sa buong mundo, which is yung salary. Okay? Yeah, salary. Walgubul tada is to ano to? To receive the salary. Tada. And uh, kung mapansin nyo guys, or kung alam nyo ibang uh, meaning ng tada, tada is to ride. Okay? To ride a bus, to ride a, a taxi, to ride a horse. Marl tada. And also, elevator. Pwede rin tada. And also, ginagamit siya with wool group. Ibig sabihin, to receive your salary. And ano yung similar dyan? Okay? So, dun pa lang sa so meaning, we can say this one is the answer. Patta. So, patta is a common word. I know na alam nyo yan. Padas sa'yo. Okay? Volgable patta to receive your salary. Okay? Ayan yung answer natin. But anyway, what is tamta? Okay? Tamta is to put something. So, diniscuss natin sa ibang question natin. Tamta is to put something into somewhere. Ilagay mo sa bag mo, sa, uh, sa plastic, or uh, bulsa mo. So, that is tama. Okay? Tama. Tamo sa'yo. Okay? Please put it in a bag. Punto eh. Ah, uh, tamo sa'yo. Uh, or tama di sa'yo. Okay? And here, kotta. Kotta is to walk. Okay? To walk. And this kotta, guys, is irregular. So, pag sabihin mo, in present tense na you are uh, walking or to walk, koroyo. Okay? Yung tigot, this is a tigot irregular. And when, when tigot irregular is followed by a vowel, when they are conjugated, or kahit anong idikit mo dyan ang mga suffix na nag start sa vowel, nagiging real sound siya or yung L sound. So, that's why yung kotta, nagiging koroyo, uh, I walk, nagiging koroso in past tense, korosoyo, and korukoyo in present tense, ay uh, in future tense, okay? The last case is yung number 4, nolta. Okay, nolta. So, ano ibig sabihin nito guys? So, ito guys is more on ginagamit natin when uh, parang i-spread out mo, i-stretch out mo yung something, kunwari, labada. No? I-spread out mo siya, mga kumot, yung malalapad, isasampay natin sa labas, and may tali na para dun mo isasampay, dun mo siya i- yeah, isasabit, or ano ba ito? Yeah, isasampay na naka-spread out para matuyo sa hangin. Okay? So, uh, yeah. so in Korean, that is palit jul. Yung sampayan na tali. Palit jul. So, pwede mo sabihin na palit chure usul noroyo. So, yeah. So, that is nolta. Okay? So, yeah. So, that is patta. Okay, patta. Volgable tada is seen with patta. Sometimes, guys, ang tanong dito is mga uh, pandem haron. Pandem mal, ibig sabihin kabaliktaran. So, maliban sa mga uh, synonyms, dapat may aram din tayo mga antonyms. Okay? Mga opposite words. And, yeah. So, dito lang tatapos yung lesson na to. And, yeah. So, good luck guys sa mga mag exam fighting lang. Okay? So, uh, basta regular kayo nagpa-practice mag magsagot ng mga ganyang question. And then, nagtitake kayo ng mga mock test. And siguro pag makakuha kayo ng mga 13 sa isang map test and another, konti na lang kailangan mong abutin. But still, go for the best. Okay? Kung kaya natin mapataas, kunin natin yung mas mataas na score. Okay? So, parang test na natin sa sarili yan. And after natin makapasama, kapunta tayo sa Korea, tuloy pa rin natin yung pag-aaral. Dahil napakarami pang opportunities na pwedeng ibigay ng uh, once na matuto kang mag-Korea. Okay? So, once again, thank you for watching guys. See you again next time. Bye-bye!